It is March 5th, 2023. In my last video, I said 2022, so forgive me for getting the dates wrong. I'm at the Southern, Southern Georgia, no. Georgia Southern University is the name of the college, and this is the Armstrong campus. And they have, so, they have three planted pawpaw trees here, common pawpaw. There's one here, one back there, and one over there. And there's also a bunch of suckers growing up all over the place, but they usually chop them down, unfortunately. But I've been monitoring these flowers over the past few days, and now we finally got some that are turning red. So I'm gonna I have a tiny little paintbrush here, so I'm going to attempt to hand pollinate these pawpaw flowers. There's a lot of traffic over there, so it might not be very audible. But with pawpaw flowers, let me find a green one. Green ones like that are botanically considered female. They start out being able to accept pollen and form fruit. But if a few days pass and they don't get any pollen so they can't form the fruit, they will instead mature into male red flowers, which will no longer produce fruit, but they will start shedding pollen. So they start out accepting pollen. If they don't get any, they'll start giving it away instead. So I want to make sure there's no beetles in here first. But to hand pollinate pawpaws, you need a paintbrush. And you go to, hold on, let me turn the phone, phone brightness all the way up. You go to a red flower. Uh, I guess I would have to have flash on. But you go to a red flower, you collect pollen from that. You can see the pollen on the brush. And then you insert that into a green flower. This is really hard to do with one hand, so let me find another one. And actually, we shouldn't, uh, pawpaws cannot pollinate themselves. So we're taking pollen from that red flower on this tree, which I'm just calling tree number one. It's, well, you'll see. And if there is a green flower back here on tree number two, as I'm calling them, We'll put the pollen in this one. There's one right here. Kind of want to try to find one easier to reach. There's another one up there, but I think that's higher up. So we'll put this pollen in this one right here. And then we'll just go get some more pollen because I think you're usually supposed to have a little container you put it in. Or I've seen some people on YouTube just take the whole red flower off and shake it. But I do want to leave some for pollinators. Because pawpaws are pollinated not by bees usually, but by beetles and flies and you can find some really cool ones sorry this camera is not really actually showing the pollination because I have to do it with the one hand all right so we got pollen from tree one to tree two and if That flower is way too high up for me to reach, and it doesn't look like it's shedding pollen yet. So we're gonna check tree three. And if tree number three has any, this one seems to be the slowest to open its flowers, so there might not be anything. Um, nope, tree three doesn't have anything yet. So we're just gonna get some more 
from this one, maybe from a different flower. And yeah, we'll try pollinating this one with itself just to see if anything happens. I think I'd have to have flashlights or not because it's too bright. There's another one here. Yeah, this one is still... Not that you can see it very well. Come on. It's too bad I can't just turn on flash during a video. But this one isn't shedding pollen yet, even though the petals have changed colors. And neither has this one, but this one has. Not that you can see it on there. So I'm gonna take some pollen. Lots and lots of pollen. Let me try and... If it'll focus on the paintbrush at all. So we're gonna try and pollinate. We'll do this flower here. And you know what, I'll just like, I'm just gonna prop the fan like this. I don't know if you can actually see anything, but we're just gonna do this. You might be able to see this, you might not, but. Just taking the paintbrush in and gently spreading the pollen around. For the record, I can hear an osprey calling over in the direction of the greenhouses they have here. Getting some more pollen. And we're just gonna see, and it'll just be on this branch that we'll do this. Because they aren't supposed to be able to pollinate themselves. This is just an experiment. Okay, and so, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait a few more days until some more flowers mature on that one, or at least open, because there's a bunch of flower buds. But all the green flowers that I could be pollinating are high up. This one is... This one is still close, so we can't do that one. But here's a flower bud. Come on, camera. And this tiny little vine, if you can see it climbing up it, is from last year. I think it was a trailing fuzzy bean. I might be able to bend this branch down and gently pollinate this one. I gotta go get more pollen first. No pollen in there, so I'm just gonna get it from this one again. This will just be our donor flower. And I just gotta bend this down gently again. I'll try to hold it so you can see. And pawpaw fruit, each flower can form multiple fruits. I think they can form up to like eight fruits. And there's also another flower bud there, but I'll wait until more flowers are actually maturing. So tree number one has mature flowers and green ones. Tree number two has both and a lot, of, a lot more flower buds. Tree number three has so far nothing but buds. 
that one was the last one to flower last year too, so that's not really surprising. And then, let me see. Like I said, there's a bunch of little suckers, which are baby pawpaws. Here's one. Oh, camera's still bright. This is a baby that is spreading probably from this tree since this is the closest one. But because pawpaws cannot pollinate themselves as individuals, they will send out their roots to send up shoots. Think of it like, not like a pen pal. Okay, well, this tree can't pollinate itself, but it can pollinate that tree back there. So to try and increase the chances of making babies, it will send its roots horizontally through the ground and then come up as new stems closer, mostly over here right now. Cause they don't actually, I don't think they actually know where the other trees are. It's just kind of a, make a big circle and you'll overlap eventually. So then when the root shoots, usually called suckers or pups from this tree over there are close enough and old enough to flower, they'll flower. And since that tree is doing the same thing, eventually the shoots will come up close enough that beetles and flies that are going from flower to flower will pollinate and then they'll get to have their babies. And this is why pawpaws form patches, which is like scientifically referred to as a colony because it's all one plant. So here are these ones too. These ones are awesome. What a, I don't know if these were grown from seed. Probably not though. But their rootstock grows so fast. These things are taller than I am. And I'm like five foot, apparently five foot two. So this one here is like almost exactly my height. So those ones are like six feet tall and these just grew up last year. Oh, this one's even got two, this one even forks as a branch. But these won't flower yet because they're still technically too young as individual shoots, but they are part of this organism. So they won't flower yet. And unfortunately, the garden keepers here uh, keep cutting them down because I don't think they realize that keeping at least a few of these is good if they want to actually get fruit on these trees. Last year in 2022, tree number two back there formed, I think, one fruit and it wasn't very big, but that was all the fruit that formed last year. And if they would let, a, like, just pick out a sucker each year and just mark it and let that one grow up so that there's one in the middle over here and then one closer back there, they'd get a lot more chances of forming fruit. I'm not sure, like, I don't know if they sell the fruit or anything, but if they could start getting actual paw, common pawpaw fruit here, they could definitely make money selling either the fruit itself, because it's so hard to find if you don't have pawpaw trees, 